I described in other videos how to bevel this 90 degree turn here into a nice curve. There's a few uh, ways to achieve this curve here. Uh, I showed you how to build a circle. I used a circle I'd already built for another corner and duplicated a quarter of that circle. And one way you can do this, you can move this into position. However, my CAD transform add-on is not working, so I can't get this exactly where I want it to be. Uh, one way to fix this, you could zoom in quite a bit and do your best, uh, but there's no way you're gonna get it in here perfectly. So I'm not gonna use the CAD transform to move that in perfectly, but I will show you how to bevel this right here. So make sure you're on vertex select and bevel is uh, control B, but you won't see anything happening because bevel is usually done on faces and you have to hit V to switch your uh, bevel mode to vertex. You can see that in the lower left corner, which I can't move the mouse down there, but in the extreme lower left corner, you see V for vertex. I'm gonna hit V, and now, I think I moved the mouse too far, but we'll adjust all this later. So now I can bevel this. It doesn't really matter where you click because I'm gonna go and change all, well, not all, but a lot of the options here. So we need more segments to make this a smooth curve. And the width is super important. I'm gonna just, there's two ways to change these numbers. One of them is when the cursor looks like a left, right arrow, you can drag. I'm dragging very, very little bit on the mouse pad to change this. So you can see what the different values are. And you can see that right about one will give me the full bevel from start to end. And so I'm just gonna go in and type one hit the tab key to get to the next field. Now, how many segments do I want? I think we went with eight. Eight gave me a center point. I want it to match all the other ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like we did six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we need a few less than this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's the right amount of segments. I have my width of one and you just click somewhere else and get rid of that. Now, you may have made a duplicate vertex here. I did, remember, if you don't have uh, X-ray turned on, you're only gonna grab one of the two vertices. So you need to make sure that you can grab both of them. M to merge. Uh, these don't matter because they're on top of each other, so we'll merge by distance. And if you're wondering some of the other merge options, let me go ahead and move this a little bit. So there's a way to take this and merge it into here. So I select this one, hold down shift, select the second one. The order is important. And you see the white one is the second uh, selected one. It'll always be the last one you selected if you selected more than two. M for merge. Now this is important here. You could go, uh, at center, which merges them in the center of the two, but that's not actually what I want. Control Z is undo. You could do it at the cursor, but I'm pretty sure that's at the world origin, not where I want. Um, I'm not sure what collapse does, but at first means the first vertex you selected. We'll try that. Um, I thought that would have been the second, but anyways, so at first is the last vertex I selected. Uh, I could have gone at second and it would have merged them to or at last, I should say. Huh, that's weird, first and last are the same thing. Okay, anyways, I just wanna show you that you can take two vertices that are not on top of each other and merge them, and the last vertex you selected is how it's done. Um, I'll do a really bad idea just to show you. This is not what I want to achieve, but select all these, oh, that one, there we go. So that one's now white. M to merge, if I go at last, it'll take them all and merge them to the last one I selected. So that is a nice way to align things. Uh, it's tempting to take this and then uh, move it close to close to position. You need to make sure. So that, right there is a great way to determine I have duplicate vertices. You can see the duplicates right there when I don't have x-ray turned on. Uh, All right, you can merge lots uh, of vertices that are close. 
You don't want to go merge at center because it's going to take all those vertices and smash them down to a point. But if you go merge by distance, it'll take any vertices, and this is how close they have to be, which that's really close. Uh, we I think we this may be the default value. Uh, but anyways, I had to go select all the vertices here and hit merge, but I'm going to turn off the x-ray. And now I hit G to move. You can see that I don't have x-ray selected and I was able to grab all the vertices at the same time, which means there's no duplicates on top of each other. Um, and I do want to delete all of this, so I'll delete that. Anyways, I got that. And I'm going to go and do the same thing up here. I tried to get it in position, but I was unsuccessful. So again, I'm just going to take this, extrude Y1 negative, enter, highlight both of those, F to fill. And I'll do the same thing right up here. I tried with this to get in position, but my CAD transform is broken, so I can't drag this in perfectly and line up these two vertices onto those two vertices. So I'll just go with another bevel. You do need to know how to do things in multiple ways uh, for lots of reasons. If you always rely on increments, you found out in this lab that not every point is lined up exactly uh, on a whole number. Somewhere in here, let's go. And transform. There we go. Not every coordinate is going to be lined up on a uh, whole number millimeter, so you can't necessarily use snap to grid all the time. And as we build more complicated things later with weird curves, you can't just snap to grid uh, and always do that.